Well hello and welcome back to Betaflight Basics. This time we'll be looking at the failsafe tab. Let's jump in. So if I connect up, one thing you might be thinking is, hey, where's the failsafe tab? I've got um, expert mode enabled. If you haven't got it, you'll notice it's not there. So you might not really have to think about this, but I want to show it to you anyway because it's really quite important to understand how this works and how you can change it if you need to. So go ahead and enable expert mode if you haven't already. We are now experts. So what's Failsafe got in it? It's got a bunch of stuff which basically says what's going to happen in the Failsafe. So an important point here, this particular Failsafe works from an invalid pulse signal. So you may have on your receiver, uh, this is a FreeSky XAR, a little bit big for a quad but you, at least you can see it. If you look here and often with these FreeSky things you have the bind button which doubles as a foul safe. Normally speaking on a lot of things you'd put your radio sticks as you'd want them so you might want to have the stick there and that switch down. You'd hit the foul safe button and it would mean in the event of a foul safe um, this would basically provide those positions. So from the model's point of view it's not a foul safe. This this can't detect a signal from the radio so it's just put these in a certain position. Now it's important for fail safe in beta flight that you don't do that. This works on what's called a sort of no pulses or invalid pulse. Generally speaking if you don't set the fail safe on free sky it does give an invalid pulse signal um, but double check it because <laughs> there's actually uh, ways of, of setting it. it. It depends on your documentation but you're not all using FreeSky, you're using other things. Anyway, as long as you've got that, so you haven't set a file safe, it's an invalid pulse signal file safe, this will kick in on the screen here. So you've got this thing called the valid pulse range settings, and generally speaking, your normal pulse range is between like a thousand and two thousand. Anything outside of that is generally invalid. I mean you can find that you can push sticks below and above that by setting things. So it's got a min and max length here and they've always worked on the, the stuff I've had and in fact if we look at the uh, receiver now without the um, without the radio on and connected it's got 885 which is in the file safe range. So there's two parts of the file safe, there's stage one and stage two. So stage one kicks in immediately if there's an invalid pulse range and what you've got down this is a whole bunch of things and if you just hover over it, it uh, it'll actually tell you what it means. So as it says, auto means roll pitch and your goes to centre and throttle is low, which is quite good because you don't want it like throttle high, zapping up into nowhere. Um, the stuff that says hold means it gets the last good value. So this is default on all the auxiliary channels and it says like horizon beeper arm and air mode here because that's what I've got on those um, auxiliary switches. Um, it's hold by default and that means whatever mode it was in it carries on in that mode except what it's done is center itself. So what you could do um, as an example let's say I was upside down and I hit a fail safe it's going to carry on going upside down because we've we've done that. If I went to set I could actually set the value of the USEX on that auxiliary channel and set that so for example it went to horizon and then it should write itself. Th generally there's no particular point in that because it shouldn't stay in stage one fail safe for very long. And just to explain what that is, if we go to CLI and we say set fail safe delay, this is what um, how long it actually stays in that file safe and file safe delay is bizarrely measured in 0.1 of a second so we have 10.1 of a second in other words we have one second so the reason I'm not overly worried about changing the mode and stuff is like when you go into your um, stage one file safe it's either going to be you're going to recover the signal or you've lost the signal somewhere and you're just going to go into stage two file safe so this is going to kick in after a second um, and these are all the default settings which I generally keep them to and you notice here that it's set to drop. So what will happen, it will say 
it's going along, it loses signal, it gives you one second and it's like nothing's happened, I'm going to drop down. And that's it. You will notice there is an option to say land. I really don't advise this. Now, when people think about that, they say, well, surely you wanted to try and come down gently instead of just drop. But of course you don't know where you're going to be when this happens, how high up you are, what tree cover you might have. So thinking, yeah, if I set my throttle to this thing and it just sort of comes down gently, I can rescue myself. But, you know, you might be going hundreds of metres away, you might be in a tree, your throttle's still going, anything can happen. So to be safe, absolutely stick with this uh, default stage two, which is like, it's going along, nothing's happened, drop. And it should drop down and your beeper should start going off. And that's essentially it. The default settings are good, but just make sure you have your uh, receiver failsafe set to no pulses. Of course, you should always test this out. So let's do that now. So I've got my Marshall feed build here and you'll notice I've got no props on. Please don't do this with the props on. These things are really powerful and when you start trying to hold one with one hand and do stuff with the other thing, you really don't want to be doing it. So just save yourself the risk of fingers and take them off, always, always. So let's plug this in, get moving. Let's arm it, put it in air mode. I can raise the throttle a bit. You can hear it. I will now turn this off. Enter stage one. One second later, all motors are off. It's dropped to the floor, it's beeping so I can go find it. The only thing to watch out about is some receivers by default their failsafe is set to carry on with the last good signal and if that's like I'll do a full throttle out you're going to disappear up to <laughs> infinity and beyond so just watch out with that test it and if it doesn't do that go back and revisit and find out why but that's that tab done that was nice and easy wasn't it catch me next time and we'll do another one see you later